Now for the moment of truth. Is it actually a key? Did I die for a- No! I didn't die for any reason whatsoever! How are you supposed to get a key to get down in here, then? This is what I don't understand. So, I mean, clearly you're supposed to have a key right now to get down there, right? I guess not. Whatever. Let's, let's go over here instead and let's just fall right through this little hole. This brings us somewhere else that was not where we were before. We don't have the big key and we're not even on the right side, so we can't get through there. Uh, but we can get over here and at least, hopefully, move on somewhere. Okay, uh, there's a key here, yes. Good memory, Jake. There's a switch here, yes. Good, we didn't get hit, Jake. Cool, I want that anti-fairy just because I want to have lasers. Give me fairy, yes. Okay, I am just the most powerful human being that ever lived. Give me it. Sweet. Okay, this room looks terrible, and that's because it is terrible. But it's actually not that bad. I take it back. Go in the door. Thank you. Whew. What is down here? Is this the dungeon? No, this is a key. Well, now I have lots of keys. Alrighty. Well, oh, that is not what I'm looking for. Oh. Well found out how to get down there, for better or worse. I feel like that was a giant waste of my time. Cool. Well, let's go upstairs then. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this room sucks, too, because it's like you have to just, you have to hookshot your way through so many enemies. Thankfully, the hookshot, like, makes short work of all of these guys, even when they're electrocuted. Let me through. Whew. Okay. I can't afford to be taking too many extra hits. It's not... It's not necessary, nor is it a good idea. Um, wait, I never went up to the right over here, did I? I only went to the left. Let's go up over here, and hopefully we'll find something interesting. I see that cracked wall there just now, but I don't think it's actually anything, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, this is new. I like this. I, can I can't run that into that thing? Yeah, sweet. Okay. I'm feeling pretty... Hello. Goodbye. It's been fun, Stalfos Knight, but nice. You ended up being completely unnecessary. Can I pull? Yep. Okay. Things are going my way now. This is the dungeon map, finally. Cool. So now all we need is the big key, and we will be set. Uh, don't need to pull that. It probably just opens up the door. And speaking of the big key, if I'm not mistaken, boom! Big key just for us. We are ready to eat some figgy pudding. This is actually recorded after Christmas, so unneeded Christmas references are unneeded. Um, hello, slow down. Please die something. Um, okay, ice physics. You win this time. Uh, how do I get to... I want to get... Um, okay, I want to get back to the room with the big slidey... Uh, thing that goes up and down. <laughs> The big slidey thing that goes up and down. Yeah, that giant spike thing that I have to trick out every time. And I'm pretty sure once I make it through here, it sucks that I have to kill these Stalfos every time. You die. Nice slowdown we have here. Now you. Get these bombs while I'm waiting, because we are starting to run low. Eight. Eight should be fine, even though we're using a lot of them. Oh, nice. I don't want to hit that switch, because it's red, and red means orange is... Red means red is... Damn. <laughs> Not again. Okay. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Thank you. Oh, I need to hit... Oh! Why? I'm losing to the simplest of things now. I'm literally walking into pits, literally killing myself, literally overusing the word literally. Okay, so is it right down here, please? And thank you. Oh my god, my HP is so bad. Oh yeah, it's gonna be right through here. Sweet. All of you, dead. You! Stop taking away my HP. Did he do two hearts of damage? That is... not... cool. Okay. 
to the left, there's gonna be stairs and a fire thing. Yes. Good. I want to avoid the fire thing. I'm trying to use the sword to... Mm, these stairs are so hard to go down. Because you have to be, like, perfectly not moving and, like, perfectly pixel aligned. Yeah, see? Look at this. Let's try to, like, line up the pixel. Thank you! Oh my gosh. Okay. Whew! So we actually don't want to fall down the one to the here. We fell down that one once already and it did nothing for us. Instead, we want to fall down here. Because on this side of the room, that's where this is. And we got the blue mail, which reduces, I believe, the amount of damage that we take from enemies by half. Though, with only half a heart remaining, doesn't really matter. Uh, either way, with that taken care of now, let's go through here. Let's try not to get... Ooh, can I just die? Oh, that was so sick. I'd like... Okay, all deaths are painful, but that death was particularly painful, uh, and you'll see why in a second here. Uh, let's not have a repeat death here. You, thank you. Okay, made it through. We should be good now. Particularly painful because there's an anti-fairy right here that we can just, boom, turn into a fairy, get life. Okay, no question marks. Uh, next is going to be this room where... I actually don't want to do anything except walk through here with my other key. Because in here, there's a switch. Uh, I don't want to get turned into a bunny. But I do want to at least check what's up here. Okay, I think the bottom ones are all magic, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm okay on magic for now. However, with that switch taken care of, things are looking slightly better for us. Uh, one, because now we can actually, like, do stuff. But two... Through here, if we just fall right down this little pit of goodness, lands us right on a pot, which if we fall down, which I think is a super cool, like, feature. Like, not really a feature, but you know what I mean. I think it's a cool thing of this game, where, like, you fall through pots and end up somewhere, like, cool. I always thought that was cool. So there's two fairies, and then we'll eat the third one, just for good measure. Okay, now we are sitting the prettiest, and we would have had all that had we not had that one jellyfish unluckily decide to become electric right at that one moment. Okay, uh, we want to get to the other side, actually. We are currently on the wrong side of this, which I think is another really cool idea. Um, so to do that, where is it, here? Yes, that is what I thought. I already have the key from here. So that's fine. Thankfully, we made it to that door in, like, good time. Otherwise, that anti-fairy was gonna come kind of wreck us. But I, I feel like if we go through here, we should be able to... Is this just gonna pop me up right on the other side? Just, just like that? Just nice and easy? Uh, yeah, I think it is, actually. So that's great. That one has a bunny transmogrifier under it, so don't lift up that. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, if I wasn't getting trolled super hard right now... Oh, phew. So, through this way. And then what is the... Don't, don't you dare fall down now, not after we made it across. Okay. Trick out you guys. Only been through this room once before, actually. I felt like we went through that room a lot more. Oh, yes, okay. So now we can just make our way right across here. Up the stairs. Kill everything in our path. Take a bomb, just in case we're out of bombs. Oh, do I have to make it through this, too? Okay, well, I mean, if you insist, I guess. Oh, nice. That worked out really well, actually. Because, like, I only took one hit. I still made it through just fine. And I managed to open the door all at the same... I don't really feel like this is the right spot to be in. I, I, I'm needing to go down, not up. What is going on here? Where am I? I'm here. Why am I here? I want to be to the left. 
I want to fall down to the chest. Oh, I want to fall down to the chest! So I should be back down in that stupid ice room full of stupid enemies that are stupid. That's where I should be, not all the way up here in Nowhere's Land. Because Nowhere's Land is a sad place populated by no one in the middle of nowhere. I think Curse of the Cowardly Dodd lives there or something. However, thankfully we have the power. If we fall th through, is this the, is this a way that I can go? Uh, yes, this is. Provided that things go okay in this room, we should be good, because this is going to lead me to a place where I can get... Wow! Look at that ice physics! Look at those really well-programmed... everything. Get down those stairs, thank you. Whew. Okay, that was good. So now we can just fall down here, and I think we'll be set. Because what's on the other side of this door? Isn't that where I want to be? Oh, thank God. Okay, push down the bottom. Push down the bottom brick. And then if we lift up this, there's a switch underneath it. However, we have to have something on the switch at all times. Which means if we just push that down, boom, it's on the switch. And here we are. We are finally at a location. Oh, hello, everything ever. Uh, I need the hammer, because I want to get some hearts if they're available to me. Arrows, bombs, those are not hearts. Thanks for the effort, but let's move you out of the way. They really hide this one well, so this must be where I want to go. And jokes on them, this is where I want to go. Welcome to the boss of Dungeon 5, Cold Stare. This is gonna be a boss I'll be using lots of magic on. Okay, there's that. Oh, okay. Well, we almost did it all with the fire rod. I want to say the eyeballs only take, like, three or four hits with the fire rod. They take a little bit more with the tempered sword. But as you can see, we made short work of that boss. That was not a difficult boss fight. Well, at least we have double magic. Uh, it could be a little harder if you don't. However, if you have magic potions or something to restore your magic, you should be fine. Uh, beyond that, uh, you can use the sword. A sword's not the end of the world. So... You really shouldn't have that much trouble anyway, as long as you can dodge a little bit of ice. You are welcome, my princess. I honestly do not know what kind of mysterious powers they're talking about. Are they just talking about, like, magic? Like, being able to use fire rods and ether gems and stuff like that? Or... What kind of power did the people of the Hylia carry? I'm not sure. Oh, wait for a new holder? You mean me? I could be the new holder? Yes, I completely understand what you said. Thank you. I like how they ask you that every single time. Like, do you understand what I just said? Like, the storyline that I just gave you? Either way, guys. Okay, I think this actually might end up spanning two episodes, not just one. I mean, we'll see what happens. But, uh, either way, until next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, when we will move on to Dungeon Sits, most likely, probably do a couple more things, like side questy type, get heart pieces, get upgrades, whatever. Uh, until then, thank you guys so very much for watching this, and I hope you're having a fantastic day.